In this video, I will cover using a truss base to overbuild truss framing. This technique can be used for new or remodel conditions. Let's begin by building the roof for the new bump out. I've created a new addition on the right hand side of the structure. Let's begin the process by building the roof for this new addition. Underneath the build menu and then build roof. I'm going to select the option to build the roof planes. Note that I already have existing roof planes. I've marked those roof planes as being manually edited. When I build the new roof, I don't want the existing roof planes to be replaced, so I'm going to mark to retain the manually drawn roof planes. There's also an option to retain any edited roof planes that were automatically created. I'm going to accept all the defaults in the roof. And you can see in the 2D view, the roof has been generated over the new bump out. With the roof truss tool, I'm going to come in, I'm going to draw a roof truss over the new addition. Let's double click and open up the truss, make just a couple of adjustments. The existing trusses already have an energy heel in them. I'm going to mark, I'm going to mark this truss has an energy heel that will match the other trusses as well as the way that the roof was built then you may notice that I have a framing reference marker to control the rollout of the trusses. I'm going to use the tool move to framing reference, adjust it, and then let's go ahead and take a 3D framing overview using the specific camera for 3D framing. You can see the truss is now floating out in the air. I don't have the wall framing created. Let me tile my screens by pressing Shift F6 on the keyboard. With the process of overbuilding the truss framing, I want to take the truss and have them ride up and over the top of the existing trusses. If I use the multiple copy tool, come up and slide the trusses up and over the top, you're going to get a message that the roof and ceiling planes can't be found or maybe too close together and can't generate a truss. When you want the trusses to overbuild, you're going to want to create what's called a truss base in Chief Architect. A truss base will tell the trusses to build over the top of one another. Let me press undo and let's take a look at this. You'll find the truss base underneath the roof tool. These work very similarly to drawing a manual roof plane. With the truss base tool, I'm going to come in out the outside of the bump out, click and drag to the outside of the other side of the bump out, go up slope and snap onto the peak or the ridge of the roof plane. Let's go ahead and zoom in just a little bit. I'm now going to shape this to the triangle of the roof by clicking on the edge, pulling the diamond in and snapping it onto the ridge. And I'll do the same thing on the other side. Once I've created the shape of the truss base to match the roof shape, I need to make the truss base coplanar to the roof plane. While the truss base is still selected, you'll find this tool in the lower edit menu and it's called move to be coplanar. Select the tool, come over, you see the highlight of the roof plane that's underneath of it. I'll click. That makes the truss base coplanar to the existing roof plane. Now that that's in place, I can zoom out, select the truss, use the multiple copy tool, and the trusses will then ride up on top of the existing trusses. The truss base acts as both a roof plane and a ceiling plane, helping the other trusses understand that are in parallel that this works as a much like a roof plane and the trusses going up or perpendicular, it works as a ceiling plane and the trusses go underneath of it if you were to be drawing the trusses that are already existing on the main structure. I'll slide out just a little bit, take the end truss, use the multiple copy tool, slide it to the end of the wall, double click to open it up. I'll mark that it's an end truss and then also that it's a reduced gable. Then to fill in the framing for the fascia and other items, I'll click on the two roof planes, hold my shift key down. In the lower edit menu, I'll select the tool to build framing for the selected objects. This stick framing then complements and adds to the existing truss framing, filling in the fascia, lookout, and any other framing elements that may be absent. That wraps up this video on using a truss base to overbuild truss framing. To learn more, please see the built-in help files as well as our other videos. Thanks for watching.